This is Mornington Road, Nashford. Nice, quiet residential road. Sort of mixture of some masonettes, some bungalows further down the top of the road and some houses. Just a nice, quiet spot in Ashford. There's also amenities relatively close by. And walk to the shops in probably about five minutes, probably slightly less, but small selection of shops just pretty much at the top of the road here. Um, what's quite unique about this ground floor masonette is that we actually have two gardens. So the ground floor masonette that we've got here, as you can see, owns all of this front garden. And what one of the neighboring properties has done in an adjoining road who also owns a masonette in a similar position is that actually they fence this off and given direct access from the masonette out onto this section of garden here. So that's something to consider. But we do also have uh, a garden to the rear equals, uh, equally. So you have all of this space here, as you can see in the video, the entrance to the flat, masonette is just along the side here I'm just going to show you the other garden before we get into the property itself so you'll see this is us here little small patch area little lawn section you can make it a little more private if you wanted to raise the fences slightly higher perhaps but enough space with the two gardens to enjoy some sunlight when we get some in the country. Further down the back here is a block of garages of which we have one. As you can see, nothing too exciting but quite helpful outside space and obviously there's parking here too which is where the owner parks his car. take you back in now to have a look at the accommodation you can see nice long entrance hallway so you're not walking immediately into a room a little bit of space before you get into the property to take your shoes and coats off. We've got two particularly big storage cupboards which actually sit under the staircase for the first floor masonette. So as you can see here on the right, these guys have they've sensibly done. Sort of becomes a little bit of storage space for your shoes, coats, cleaning goods, etc. A little light in there too. And then the second one, which has our fuse board meters etc but more storage which is brilliant so two particularly big storage cupboards in the hallway as you come in on your left hand side nice white bathroom suite which has been reconfigured the bath was actually at the other end and the sink up this end you've got windows as well which is important so there's no build up of condensation but nice clean white suite in here. Shower fitting positioned over the bath. Nice bright bathroom. Heated tower are there on your left hand side. And then just off the bathroom, we're into the master bedroom. So we've got two good double bedrooms in this property. This room is at the front, so it looks out onto what would be your front garden there as well. You can just see through the blinds. But space for bedside tables, although there isn't one on that side, either side. Uh, chest of drawers, freestanding wardrobe. Plenty of room to maneuver around the bed. Just a nice double bedroom. Across the front here. Back into the hallway and past the two storage cupboards. Kitchen directly at the top, but I'll take you into bedroom two. So this is sort of a bit of a nursery room at the moment. These guys have got a young family. But you'll see there's, again, ample room for a double bed in here. Looking back into the room, got a slight recess there, which these guys have got a fitted wardrobe, which I think is a particularly good idea. Otherwise, it's almost kind of wasted space. We've sold similar properties in a joining road where they have got that area there open. So if you felt like you wanted a little more room, then of course, that's something to explore. But actually, I think it probably works slightly better with fitted wardrobes there. 
but comfortable double in my opinion. I think the depth is about 12 foot, so more than enough space in here. Or if you've got a child, perfect child's bedroom. And then the lounge, which although is one room, you almost have two separate areas, which I think is quite good. So you must have your dining area up one side and you're sitting at the other end. But as I mentioned, one of the neighboring properties in an adjoining road, I believe they've got their doors from their lounge out to that front garden area. So that's something to look into. We could point you in the right direction of the neighboring property, but actually it's quite a nice size lounge. And then you have what's quite traditional of a property this age, the serving hatch. So you're not enclosed in the kitchen if you have guests over. You can see they've got space for a freestanding fridge freezer. If you wanted a maybe an American style one, something slightly wider, you can see there is the gap there for that. Built-in cooker, gas hob, combi boiler there in the corner, washing machine and tumble dryer. So there's space for all your appliances, lots of work surface space, lots of room to maneuver around. And really, if you particularly wanted to, you could probably have a little small breakfast table in here. Really quite sizable, but a nice clean modern finish again. And then looking back through onto the lounge as I previously mentioned. So ground floor, two double bedrooms, good condition throughout, nice quiet residential road in Ashford. If it's £150 for the ground rent, there are no service charges and two gardens which is quite unique and a garage as I previously mentioned so if you're interested in arranging or viewing please contact us in the Ashford branch thank you